The same eruption is causing more damage than initially thought. We have secondary explosions and we have these dangerous lahars. So the aftermath is not good. I have updates from that massive Semeru volcanic eruption and not the only one. So it's really, you have to say the volcano is following you. It has spewed giant ash clouds when it was erupting with particles and it's the highest mountain on Indonesia's Java Island. It's a volcano that is called Mount Semeru and the images I've showed it to you in my last video, they're, they're mind blowing, but I want to show you the aftermath, what has happened, because that is equally as frightening. And maybe you remember the videos of that bridge. I'll show you the videos again. People are standing on the bridge and they stand there. They are like frozen and some are filming and you see this volcano coming towards you because this is not just a cloud of dust. These are volcanic particles that are in there. This is not the same ash that we're talking if you make a campfire or something like this. Th this ash consists of fine particles of volcanic rocks. So this is coming towards you and, and do these people think that the volcano stops in front of them? Well, no, it does not. But then you see pictures and videos from different angles of what happened to that bridge. And it was absolutely stunning if you see the aftermath of this. And in, in light of that, I mean, watch the images of what's happening to the bridge when the cloud of the volcano is coming and then i'll show you the images of how this looked afterwards and this is kind of like a volcanic lahar that is coming after people and here's the image on how that looks afterwards that looks quite scary and in light of the images that we have now from the aftermath i mean we've had buildings destroyed the, the volcano was spewing out big rocks boulders hot rocks like i remember this if you, if you like at roman times right when they were throwing rocks at fortresses and stuff like this this is how this looks and and you've seen the guy putting water on the hot rock so this was landing in villages destroying villages in addition to that they were covered in ash and blanketed in ash so that lahar and these volcanic flows are coming down the flanks of this volcano and quite far, even eight miles, that's how far it was spreading, 12 kilometers around the volcano from this side. So absolutely insane. But again, now that we have the images of what happened after, it's, it's, it's even crazier. So I thought I want to show this to you guys. Let's talk about the other damages now. We have these lahars and secondary explosions, especially at the Semeru River, and the damage is really substantial, far greater than they thought. Three days after the initial eruption of pyroclastic flows, phreatic eruptions, um, it has happened on Lake Semeru. Today we have heavy rainfall and lahars are coming from the volcano. These are these volcanic matter, debris, mud flows that are racing down the flanks of volcanoes. Very, very dangerous. They carry mud and, and a lot of masses of water covered with hot deposits from the pyroclastic explosions causing steam explosions today. And the potential danger to villages along the river is ex is extremely significant because of all that rain within a few hours several river valleys were engulfed by mud flows of volcanic material the bezo kobokan and the langang rivers were affected and these steam driven secondary eruptions have happened all over the place triggered by steam explosions that occur when mud flows over this hot matter that the volcano has spit out flow over that. So we see these whitish clouds and eruptions everywhere. It, it looks like a pyroclastic explosion, but for the communities, this is not good. It's kind of scary, right? If 
because you can't really say or predict where this is going to happen. So the situation became particularly critical when one of these lahars reached an area that's, that's called Gladak Perak. That's a known volcanic hazard zone that is located about 10 miles away from the Semeru crater. Um, there's a bridge that spans a gorge. Now you know what I mean, right? So authorities given us a clear warning that the sediments that are accumulated in the riverbeds right now could be remobilized again by the current rain at any time without a warning and then they could race down towards the villages. So we have the persistent rainfall, we have the steep river corridors and we have unstable deposit. That is a danger. Um, that we could see more of these dangerous lahars. The seismic measurements also indicate eruptive earthquakes with a maximum amplitude of 35 millimeters. That means, guys, increased volcanic activity at Semeru. So that adds to the overall hazard situation because we could see another explosion. And if you see the images of the villages that are covered in mud everywhere, it's kind of crazy. Because don't forget, just three days ago, we had these pyroclastic flows that were traveling as far as 14 miles. That's almost 20 kilometers and ha has reached the populated areas, obviously, as we see in, in the images. People were injured, suffered severe burns, destroyed houses, especially along the riverbed, but also entire villages completely destroyed by these flows. We still have the highest volcanic alert level. Level four remains in effect for this volcano. And I hope you like and hype this video for me and I hope you watch the next in the end screen because we had a devastating earthquake already in Bangladesh in an area with more than 140 million people. It was now, it says 6.0, it's now a 5.5, but guys, this area is overdue for an, an, an earthquake 8.2 to 9.0. So is this a foreshock? If that's a foreshock, the devastation that is happening there right now, buildings tilted over. I'm not saying much more. Watch it in the end screen. I see you there. Stay safe, guys. Be prepared and be careful. No tourist activity is worth your life climbing on volcanoes or whatever. See you there.